Hello everyone, and welcome again. In this video, I explain to you something very important, which is how to backup and restore the permissions for folders. That is, once you configure the permissions for folders, you can make a backup of the permissions for these folders and of course restore the permissions at any time you want. The permissions that you grant to folders are linked to specific groups or a group of users, as you can assign read, write, and delete permissions to a specific group, while read and write permissions may be assigned only to a group. In short, whatever permissions are granted to the folder, you can make a backup copy of it. For example, I have a folder called HR, this folder I have given specific permissions, and if you open the security of the folder, you will find that only domain admins and HR manager are allowed to access this folder. If you want to make a backup of these permissions, so that they are not changed in the future, or anything unexpected happens, you can do that. And to make a backup of the permissions in this folder called HR, first create a folder, to save the backup copy in this folder, and give it an appropriate name for that. This is considered the first step. As for the next step, open the command prompt, but open it as administrator, so you can make a backup and restore permissions, without any restrictions. After that, type command that appears in front of you on the screen. I will leave it for you in the video description. Command in this order so you can make backup successfully. I will use the ikkles command, and then type the path of the folder whose permissions you want to backup. Type the path between quotation mark. Take a space, and type slash save. Then take a space and write the path of the folder that we created to make the backup in it, and write the path of the folder between the quotation mark. Here, after the folder path, write the name of a text file, so that the permissions are saved in it. Write the name of the text file with any name you want. After that, take a space and type slash t, so that the command is executed on all specified files, in the current directory and its subdirectories. Then take a space and type slash c, so that the command will continue executing the operation despite any errors in the file. Then press the enter button on the keyboard. Once the command is executed, it will back up the folder's permissions. You can go to the backup folder, and you will find the text file containing the folder's permissions in a specific format. You can keep this backup copy of permissions until you need them. Then, for example, if the permissions for this folder are changed due to something unexpected happening, or the permissions are changed for specific reasons, I will add users to this folder, and give them permission to access the folder, for example, so that it becomes clear to you after that, how I will to restore the backup of this folder's permissions. I will now restore the permissions for this folder, in order to restore the users and groups specified while configuring the permissions, for this folder. Open command prompt window again, then type command that appears in front of you on the screen, and I will leave it for you in the video description. I will also use the ikkles command. The same command, but with minor differences. After writing ikkles, Write the name of the drive in which the folder is located, between the quotation mark. After that, take a space and type slash restore, then a space and write the path of the folder in which the backup is located, complete with the text file between the quotation mark. After that, press enter button on the keyboard. Once executed, command will restore the folder's permissions again. You can open the folder properties and go to security, to verify the process of restoring the folder permissions, and immediately the permissions are restored as they were at the time the backup was made. This way you can take a backup of the folder permissions you want. I hope the video is useful to you, thank you for watching. And I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.